Welcome back to another video on the 2006 F-150. So I ran into a little bit of a problem, all right? You see the problem here? When they put the three inch um, leveling kit on here, I noticed that um, the struts are going bad, but I've got new struts right over there. Um, I already did the driver's side, but come to find out um, this ball joint is ripped and I didn't want to take this off of here and not be able to get this back on. But you've seen when I jacked it up, you see how much it's close to here and it's actually hitting that. Um, when it's down, the tire is about that far. The inner side of the tire is about that far from this um, ball joint here. All right, so I bought some wheel spacers for these and these are an inch and a quarter. But when you put these on, look at, look at the difference. Look what sticks out, the stud. That will, that will not go on there at all. This is an inch and a quarter. So what I bought was, um, I bought an inch and uh, three quarters right here, 1.75. So we're gonna see if these are better for this and that will give me my clearance coming out from the top and actually push that tire out a little bit so it's not so close to um, that upper uh, upper ball joint there. So look at that, okay, look how much that sticks out. All right, so this is the old one. These are the 1.75, all right? So we'll stick these on here and look at that. It's flush all the way, can't even see them come out. So now the wheel will actually sit flush in here. So we're gonna do these later, these are later on. We're gonna do everything else. We're gonna get the start replaced and I'm gonna show you what else I bought for it, all right? So these come off like this and then you put some Loctite on these so it actually come with Came with a bottle of uh, red Loctite. All right, so let's just make sure that these fit good. Let's take one off here. And we can pull that off. So these are gonna actually go on here. Just wanna make sure that they're gonna fit. Yes, they do fit, okay. And then you want to check, all right, so we'll put that in there. And then you wanna check this, your, um, your main lug nut for your wheel. You want to check and see if this is going to fit on here first and see if that's going to fit and if that fits then we're good to go yep so there we go and in this box right here is what i bought was i bought some new upper control arms for it so these would be a lot better that ball joint is a lot tighter and uh it came it comes with uh polyurethane bushings right here so i'm going to set a link in the description below if you want to purchase these um these are just bushings and you can replace the bushings on there and you don't have to replace the whole the whole thing if it's just your bushings are going out all right so it's got a whole set of these it's got the inserts in here and it's got new hardware and it comes with the um comes with the zert fittings right there for both sides so you can grease this side and this side Look how much better of a fit that is there and there. And it does come out a little bit more. So that's gonna be a lot better. It's gonna bring this out just a little bit. I don't want it too much out because I don't want the wheel to be off uh, off camber, but that'll be good. Got the brake pads out, brake calipers out there. Just a 13 millimeter on the back here and the back here. Okay, got the sway bar, um, the sway bar bushings loose there and i got the um inner tie rod or yeah outer tie rod that's busted loose so that's off of there that's a 22 millimeter there all right so i think we're good you got an eight millimeter right back here for your speed sensor so you need to take that out um that's just stuck in there so i need to get that out of there but there's the eight millimeter right there so get that out of there because this steering knuckle will not come off and uh it will be stuck in stuck to your car because it runs up your brake line and it runs into your uh, cab of your truck or engine bay, whatever you want to call it. All right, so I got that done. Um, next, I need to get that out of there. The lower ball joint, I need to get that loose. And then the upper one, and we should be good to be able to uh, take this out of here. And then we'll get the start loose. The top is a 15 millimeter. You got three bolts right up in the top. You got one there, one there, and then there's one in the back there. It's like a triangle, okay? And then you got your rough country spacer, which I got right there. Okay, we're gonna transfer that over to the new one. 
and then we'll get the upper control arm out of here and uh, replace all this stuff right, so uh can't get the bottom one out right now so what i'm going to do is because this does need to be replaced look at this ball joint right here i had to take the vice grips and uh clamp this down right here above the top of the spindle and look at this thing it's it's gone look at that it's just moving around and this thing was just Look at the nut inside there. It was just spinning and all the grease was gone. So this definitely, listen to that. It definitely needs to be replaced, all right? So I got the top one done. Um, this one loosened up, but I tightened this one up so I could get the top ball joint for the um, upper control arm off there. Got everything else done. So um, I got a bottle jack for the top, so I had to push it up a little bit. So I'm gonna leave it in place for now. So now I'm going to loosen up this strut from the top. All right. So I got to get a 15 millimeter in here, break these loose and get those down there. And then I have my breaker bar and that I'm going to get that on there and get that out. Finally got the strut out of there. That top ball joint is gone. It is, it's totally screwed. You can see it's just turning. I had to put some vice grips on it to come out of there. So I'm glad I bought some upper control arms got that good so that's done um got everything out of here all right got some rocks in here i need to clean that up um so and i got that strap there so that won't fall down so this is the strut right here you can see this bushing is like totally gone out of here all right and you can see how much right here how much is closer on this side this is not as bad as the driver's side the driver's side is in that box i'll show you later but um we do have the um the rough country suspension system so this is the actual leveling kit that came on the truck when i bought it so this is gonna have to come off all right so you got uh three 15 millimeter nuts right here right here and right there you're gonna have to use a deep wall on these to get this off um we'll clean all this up transfer this over to the new shut the new strut and uh we'll put this in we need to figure out what size um what size nut and what size bolt this is but it is easier to get it out when you get the strut out like this all right so if you're doing this you don't have to take off the knuckle if you don't want to the bottom one i'm eventually gonna have to take that one off but i want to get the strut and everything done and then the upper one because i can't even drive it like that like it's it's done you can hear it you can hear it knocking all right so let's see what size this upper control arm is and uh let's get this one out of here so it is a 21 millimeter and i just gotta figure out what um this goes to the speed sensor here let's just push this up out of the way so we can, don't mess this up all right and then i need to see what side this um that side is right there. You won't be able to get a socket in here. So you're gonna have to get a open in wrench in here. Hopefully that's smaller than that, but I might have one. Um, let's see, and uh, let's get this out. All right, so I got it loosened. Um, I got the breaker bar in there with the 21 and it's, it's loose now. You can see that it's moving. All right, so now I'm just gonna take my ratchet, see if I can, I can get this loose now that bolt that bolt should be coming right out of there okay so we should be good let's see if we can go up underneath and see if we can get a little bit more see if we can get a little bit more leverage in here um, i got the one bolt out right here so that one fits on the inside you see how long this bolt is you will never get this out without taking this strut out. So good thing I'm doing them now. All right. This one's getting ready to come out. And then I will take the rest of this out of here. So it'll just, it just pulls out like that. And that comes out just like that. So you can see how busted this thing is. But you can see the difference between this ball joint and this ball joint on here. That is so much better. So I'm gonna test fit this um, into the top spindle before I um, bolt everything up because I don't wanna get the start in there and everything and then that not fit. All right, so I'm gonna do that next. I'm gonna test fit this in here and see if we're good. 
and if we're good i'm not going to bolt everything up yet but um i just want to get it in there and then we'll put the bushings in we'll put the top control arm in then we'll put the strut in we'll get the bolts here and uh we'll get that in there and then we'll uh start bolting everything else up all right well change of plans <laughs> I had to get a factory one. I get to get a, um, I got a motorcraft one from uh, O'Reilly's. This one over here in the box, um, you can see the Zert fitting on this side. This side, I was putting it in there and it snapped right off. So I wouldn't be able to put any grease in here. So I don't want these. I'm gonna take these back. So I'm not gonna link those on my Amazon. So don't, don't try to buy them, okay? This is the right side right here. It says R on it. This has been, um, this is factory. The other side's already been replaced with the black one, um, with the new one. So I'm just gonna go with this so they both be new. You can see that the ball joint is good on this side. This one's non-greasable, so I don't have to worry about greasing it for now. Um, maybe later on we'll do that once I get this all situated and I eventually wanna get a lift on this truck but we're gonna do this for now i gotta get this in here tomorrow's thanksgiving and i got family coming so trying to get this in so let's get this bolt up to there and uh let's get the strut in i already got the strut already good i already got the the spacer or the leveling kit i've already got it over there with 15s and i got already got those torqued down so those are good to go so we can put the new um we can put the new strut in right here if it'll stop rolling there we go so there's a strut for that all right let's get the upper control arm in and uh let's bolt this up all right so everything's done got the upper ball joint got that tightened that torqued i had to use my bottle jack right there push it up a little bit so i could get that away from here i really don't like this setup here so eventually i'm gonna do this upper control arms but for now i had to do it um i got everything torqued up here these three bolts on the top so we got our spacer in here, a rough country leveling kit. And um, I'm about to put my wheel spacer on, so right here. And I got my Loctite right there. And then I got my bolts, and I think these are 19 millimeter. So we're gonna put these on and, uh, and then torque these down, let those set for a minute. And then we'll bolt up this tire and then we'll do the, um, we'll do the other side and then we'll see the fitment between the ball joint i'll show you on the on the driver's side real quick after i get this done we'll see the difference before i do the before i do the driver's side with the wheel spacer so let me get these torqued get some uh thread locker in here some lock tight and uh get the wheel bolted up and see the difference but you see how far see how far it comes back out like it'll sit there this actually sets all the way out here so i think we should be good we'll get a little bit more wheel up here so might have to check this up here because it is a bigger tire, but I think we'll be good. I measured everything. So we should be good with an inch and three quarter. Yeah, inch and three quarter or 1.75. We should be good with that. So we'll see um, once we get everything in here, we'll get it down on the ground and uh, we'll get everything bolted up and then we'll look at it. All right, so here I jacked this one up, but you can see, look how much clearance between there. I can just get like my four fingers between the wheel and that i mean it's going to be a little bit more but look at that compared to this side okay and you can see it right there it's almost there and if we come to the driver's the passenger side which i already did the wheel spacer too look at the clearance now between the ball joint and that I still don't like that it's this close, but I mean, it does come over a little bit once I let it down, but I don't like how it's close to this. So I'm gonna have to figure this out, but for now, but look at the difference between this, look at that. With the inch and, inch and three quarters and 1.75 spacing around here compared to the driver's side. So I'm gonna take this tire off and we're gonna put the spacer on this side and then I'm gonna do the rears and we'll be uh we'll be good to go for now so this one's already been replaced you can see it's a little rusted but the ball joint was not bad at all um when we did this side we already did the strut you can see so i'm gonna leave this one alone for now and when i do it when i do the whole um lift kit on it then i'll uh replace these later on but let me get this tire off get that spacer on and then we'll see the difference between the rear and the front